previously on its P4P channel. It's P since when did you become a PNG oh, team? Oh, Adventure Plants Two now have tangler. a packet unlock cost. Sun cost. As for Gold Leaf, it now costs 80 yes, sun. Nightcap with a new design. God, Flammer Semi 2 has gone worse and worse, huh? Oh well, at least there's still hope. That's right, mods. We have mods, ton of them. Especially afterwards, yeah, play out Uh, no, we aren't talking about mods today. So let's leave that for another day for now. Today, I'll be talking about a fan game. And it's called Plan vs Zombies 2 The Void. Here's some gameplay. What? Where's the fan game? I only see original Plan Me 2 here. That's what you probably said. But yeah, this is Plan Me 2 The Void. It looks just like the original Plan Me 2. Isn't that amazing? Also, this is a PC game, so this could be a good way to play Plan Me 2 on your PC too. However, this project is still very early in the development. There's only three worlds so far, and obviously incompatible with the original Plan Me 2, so you can't play mods on it. Although, you can make mods for it. I'll talk more about that in a bit. But hey, don't let that distract you from trying out this cool game. Even though the color tints for plant food and chill effect are off, our Necno store had yet to be implemented, there's a whole screen full of unclickable buttons, half the game takes us to placeholder, some available plants are still placeholder, most plants are lacking plant food abilities, exclusive minigames aren't here for now, some are lacking zombie collision and rock success. <sighs> it still got some cool stuff. Firstly, they've got this cool minigame called Shooting. It looks just like Plumber Semi 2 Shenny's version all by oneself minigame, but there are major differences. 1. You'll be controlling up to 3 plants in this minigame, one at a time. You switch control by clicking on the plants. 2. You can move plants in any direction. You might not think this matters until you realize that there's a close range plan here too. 3. Defeating zombies drop sun, and it's your choice how to spend it. You can get more plants, upgrade existing ones, or use it for an emergency cherry bomb. Overall, a pretty fun minigame. I do wish there's more than one level though, but as I said, you can just make more yourself. Next up, they've got iZombie. They haven't implemented the eat sunflower get sun mechanic though. Also, you only have 8 tip zombies for now, but still, cool. Also, only one level, but then again, you can make more. This one isn't as exciting as the other ones, but pool. They've got fully functional pool with 6 lanes. You will never be able to get this in original Plum Semi 2, even with mods. And lastly, this is the part where I will talk about the customization of the game, which means it's modding time. Also, I will assume that you know some basics of Plum Semi 2 modding here because I don't want to over explain and make this video too long. Alright, there are two test levels that shows the customability of the game. The first one shows that you can change the status zombies on the fly. And when you look at the code, you can see that you can make changes to specific zombies. So you can have basics with various size and HP without making tons of custom zombies. Although you do lose the ability to easily use one custom zombie multiple times, as you have to copy the stats over and over again instead. The second test level shows that you can change the stat of plants on the fly, as you can preset plants with different stats, even on the same level. So you can have P, Pot, That Shield, and Butter, just with a few lines of code. But now I think it's time to point out the obvious. Yes, unfortunately, this game does not use the same JSON format as the actual Plum Semi 2. That's why it's compatible with the actual Plum Semi 2 mod. Like, even the internal names are different. So if you are a Plum Semi 2 modder and you want to make a level for this game, you have to relearn a bit. Oh, and there's no set spawns. You can only do escalation. But uh, at least you can set spawn points for each wave, so it's not all that bad, maybe? Although, if you still want to try making levels, all the level files are stored as JSON in the game's folder. So you can easily refer, edit, and replace the files without any external tools. Like, look at this. Yeah, you will not get that luxury in Plum Semi 2, especially if you are modding on PC. Which you should, by the way. Don't quote on your phones, kid. So yeah. If you are interested in trying out this game, I'll put the download link in the description. Go check it out, try some of the test levels, they're fun. Also, learn some coding and make some eye zombie or shooting levels maybe. But yeah, that's it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoy it, and see you next time.